I heard that you had completely gotten over nicotine, and then I heard you met Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Oh, that, oh. And, and well, he, yeah. uh, is that true story that he got you smoking again? I mean, no, I smoked with him. Like I, I, oh, okay. I knew I was going to be okay. I, I, that was when I interviewed him. He was at WNYC in New York doing one of their shows. So I was going to, you know, use the studio and just go next. It was so funny because me and Brendan McDonald, my producer, were hanging around WNYC waiting. You know, and it's public radio, New York public radio. Right? And all of a sudden this woman comes running out into the into the main area going, he's smoking. What do we do? He's smoking. <laughs> and yeah. the answer is, I guess you let him smoke. But uh, yeah. I'm talking to Keith, who's my fucking hero. You know, I love Keith. And it was such a it was such a, a big day. And, uh, and he's smoking and he's drinking his vodka and orange soda, whatever the hell it is. And I'm like, what are you smoking? You know, he's like, Marlboro, you know, I'm like, let me just hold one. Right. So I'm, I'm like an idiot, you know, he's smoking. I'm just holding the cigarette, talking to him. And at some point, you know, he, he literally throws a lighter at me and hits me in the head. And I, I, I'm like, right. And I'm like, yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to smoke with Keith Richards. This is the devil I waited for. This is the guy. You have heroes in your life. Keith Richards, when I was younger, I wanted to play guitar, so I bought the same kind of guitar he had. I smoked Marlboro cigarettes because I read in an article that Keith smoked Marlboro cigarettes. I'm 14. I started drinking Jack Daniels because Keith was, was drinking Jack Daniels. I mean, it, I got my hair cut once like Keith. It didn't work out, but I tried. So, right. but this is, but you know, this is the thing about heroes. So I interviewed him not too long ago for the re-release of Main Offender, right? It was a Zoom thing. And he's wearing this beanie. Have you seen the him, pictures of him lately? He wears these yeah. wool hats and he looks yes. great. I, te- I said to him, I said, you're not hanging beads in your hair anymore. And he's like, it was something to do. But anyways, so, <laughs> so, so he's wearing this fucking hat, Howard. And I'm like, where'd you get that hat? I love the hat. I pestered him for 20 minutes. Where's the hat from? To the point where his publicist emails me and says, this is where the fucking hat's from. Shut up about the hat. We're not, saying, <laughs> we, we're not advertising these hats, right? So I spend, I spend all this time trying to figure out what the fuck this hat is. I buy, it's a $300 cashmere beanie. All right. So I buy the hat. I put it on and I stand in front of the mirror and I have the same fucking moment that I've had over and over with Keith Richards is that I'm not fucking Keith Richards. What, <laughs> what do I think? You know, that beanie's not doing anything for you. Exactly. Oh my God. What do I think? It's great. It's a magic beanie. 